in this video lecture we're going to learn about bases and alkalis. Uh, bases are compounds that accept protons or H plus one ions. And remember we've discussed this previously as well that H plus one ions they just have one proton. The electronic configuration they have no electrons and only have one proton. So we can call H plus one ions uh, simply by what they contain. They just contain one proton. So whenever something gains an H plus one ion it's basically just gaining one proton. So any compound that accepts or gains H plus one ion that is called a base. Now coming to alkalis, what are alkalis? Alkalis are simply uh, soluble bases. So alkalis are soluble bases. So any base that dissolves in water, that would be called an alkali. So alkalis are a subset. They are they're those bases that actually dissolve in water. So uh, generally group one, hydroxides, etc. They are very soluble. So those they would be called alkalis. Now, now I'm going to discuss which compounds are called bases and alkalis. Which compounds have uh, these properties that they accept H plus one ions. So the number one compound that uh, that can be a, a, a general category of compound that can be classified as bases is uh, most metal oxides are bases. What that means is a metal oxide is going to be a metal with bonded to an oxygen. It should be an ionic compound. So for example, you have sodium oxide, sodium is one plus, oxygen is two minus, so it's going to be Na2O. Or magnesium oxide, Mg is two plus, O is two minus, so magnesium oxide, or aluminum oxide, although that's amphoteric, but that could also be classified as a base. So all these metal oxides, they are bases, uh, they're basic, they can accept H plus one ions. Uh, similarly, metal hydroxides, are also bases. Hydroxide is OH1 minus, so any metal bonded to a hydroxide, Na plus one, OH minus one, or magnesium hydroxide, that would be MgOH2, or calcium hydroxide, these are all bases. They are capable of accepting H plus one ions. So this is the second category of compounds that could accept H plus one ions. The third, uh, we can add that to metal hydroxide, that's an ammonium hydroxide that would also be acting as a base. Ammonium hydroxide is NH4OH, so that is ammonium hydroxide. Ammonia is also a base, so it's a, it's a basic gas actually, so ammonia is NH3. This ammonium hydroxide and ammonia, they're pretty much the same thing. So all these compounds that I've listed, metal oxides, metal hydroxides, ammonium hydroxide, ammonia, these category of compounds can be classified as bases. They are capable of accepting H plus one ions. Now we've already discussed what, what is meant by the term bases and alkalis, and we've uh, come up with uh, different compounds that are that are classified as bases, metal oxides, metal hydroxides, ammonium hydroxide and ammonia, these are some common bases. Now the term alkali applies to soluble bases, bases that dissolve in water. So, so we're now going to look, uh, uh, talk about the solubility of bases and see which uh, bases can be called alkalis, which of the bases are soluble. So uh, this over here, the term alkali would apply to those bases that dissolve in water. So group one metal oxides and metal hydroxides are all soluble. So any group one metal oxide like sodium hydroxide, sodium oxide, potassium hydroxide, they would all be, they can all be referred to as alkalis as well because they are going to dissolve in water and they're going to um, dissociate in water. So metal oxides, metal hydroxides belonging to group one, they're all, they all can be classified as alkalis. Then uh, some uh, of group two metal oxides and metal hydroxides are soluble and I've listed all the metal oxides, metal hydroxides of group uh, two. Uh, starting with magnesium hydroxide, that's not soluble, so you can't call that an alkali, but calcium hydroxide is partially soluble, very slightly sol soluble actually. Strontium hydroxide and barium hydroxide are soluble and these two can be referred to as alkalis. And uh, listing one more, ammonium hydroxide is ammonium hydroxide and Ammonia. They both they both are easily soluble in water, so they would also be classified as alkali. They can be, although ammonia is a gas, but it would dissolve in water very quickly. And when it dissolves in water, it generally forms ammonium hydroxide. So both of these uh, bases 
uh, they are very readily soluble in water, so they could also be called alkalis. So this is the list of compounds that can be referred to as alkalis that are soluble in water.